Canon R5 has been a fantastic camera as it includes almost all the features that make a camera go wow. It has 8K shooting capabilities, the colors are just superb, impressive stabilization, and whatnot. Except for one issue, the 8K overheating. And only for that reason, Canon users were frustrated and bad reviews were everywhere. Canon made many attempts to improve the 8K recording time, but nothing seemed to work well. But with the latest firmware update, all the major issues with the R5 users were complaining about have been finally sorted out. And all of a sudden, the Canon R5 has become an appealing camera for video makers. So what's new in this firmware update and how has it changed everything for Canon R5? All these will be discussed in this video. So let's get started. With the latest 1.4 firmware update, you can shoot 8K videos at 30 frames per second with 10 bit 422 colors in ProRes RAW externally. And this requires you to use the latest Ninja 5 Plus recorder because that's the only recorder in the market which allows you to shoot 8K at 30 frames per second. But the R5 already can shoot 8K videos at 30 FPS RAW internally. So, how does the firmware update make a difference? Well, to know the difference, we have to find answers to some questions, like how long will it let us shoot in 8K, does it fix the notorious overheating problem, and is there any drop in the video quality? And the good news is, the record time has significantly increased for the Canon R5, and it is mainly because the heating issue is almost gone. So now, you can enjoy hours of 8K raw video recording without any warning for overheating. You are only restricted by your camera battery and memory space. Apart from that, the quality of external 8K RAW recording is almost the same as the quality of R5's internal 8K RAW recording. And R5 already has fantastic color reproduction ability. So overall, Canon R5 is going to be the new favorite for many semi-professionals and professional video shooters for its improved 8K capabilities. The next improvement that the latest update brought to us is not only for the professionals but also for all kinds of video shooters using the Canon R5. The firmware upgrade has made the R5 capable of recording movies in both memory cards simultaneously without any quality drop. You can use this feature in all the video recording modes except for when you are shooting in RAW and RAW light. This is a huge benefit for video shooters as now you have a backup in case one of the cards fails. Besides, the update also adds support for VPG400 which is a standard based on CF Express 2.0. In addition to that, this firmware update also comes with support for some cinema lenses like CNE18 to 18mm T4.4 and CNE70 to 200mm T4.4. And that's a very clever move from Canon as they now know that they have fixed the heating issue so the R5 will be a very impressive cinema camera to many. So keeping that in mind, the firmware included support for cinema lenses. But CNE comes with an EF mount and Canon R5 feature an RF mount. So users might need to use an adapter to attach those cinema lenses. However, we are also hoping that Canon might come up with an RF mount version of those cinema lenses. So that was all about the latest firmware update of Canon R5. Undoubtedly, the firmware has significantly improved the video specs of the R5. And now, as the heating issue is almost gone, it is going to be a tough competition between Canon R5 and Sony hybrid cameras. So what are your thoughts about the new firmware update for the Canon R5? Let us know in the comment section.